EFCC proposed a total of 41.2 billion naira for capital, overhead and personal costs in its 2023 budget. Now, the federal government says about 12,000 inmates have been released from various correctional centers across the country within the last six years, in line with the policy of prison deconjection. Now, Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami said that this during the 2023 budget defense session. The report. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, were answering questions during the budget defense said the ministry was able to decongest the prisons across the country through the policy actions in line with the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. Progress have been made in being able to do reforms in the area of uh, prison decontextion in the country. And the accelerated trial of terrorism cases. Thank you. Distinguished Senators, in the next few moments, I and my team will carefully present to you our major milestones and achievements so far while highlighting activities of the justice sector as scheduled for implementation through the, 20, through the year 2023. However, before proceedings to our presentations, I wish to use this opportunity to underscore and reiterate the need for your continued support for the justice sector. That the 2023 budget estimates for the Federal Ministry of Justice and its parastatal agencies, as contained in the appropriation bill before the National Assembly, is 71 billion, 291 million and 12,971 Naira only. Earlier, the chairman of the committee, Senator Okoyemi Bamidele, said the 2023 budget estimate for the Minister of Justice is in the tune of 71.29 billion Naira, where he commended the president for increasing the budgetary provisions of the Council of Legal Education from 2.7 billion Naira in 2022 to 10. 12 billion naira in the proposed 2023 fiscal year.